Once I've got an IP address established, I'll start the NQ Sensor Monitor software and open a new file. I'll click Yes to connect to a new NQ and search for the IP address I just set on the unit. In the Network Settings menu, I can select which NQ module I want to configure, which is useful when I've got multiple modules connected in the same network. In the port setting menu, I can configure the operation that each port is performing, along with some extra functions like data storage modes that back up IOLINK sensor data and sensor validation settings for each port. Any Keyence IOLINK devices will automatically appear when connected to the NQ, but any third-party IOLINK sensors can be added by uploading the IODD file of that sensor to the software. In the device setting menu, we can monitor the process data that cyclically updates between the sensor and the NQ. Additionally, we can remotely configure an iLink device by entering the parameter settings. Here we can change settings on the device or issue commands such as tuning or initialization using the iLink service data. Once you've got a device configured, you can easily copy the settings from that device's port and paste the settings to another port, allowing the ability to set up iLink sensors in large batches.